Hi everyone, this is Robin. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a treat box using tags, bags, boxes, and more cartridge along with Hello Kitty greetings. And just to show you how easy it is to mix and match your cartridges. So what I'm going to do first is I have my 12 by 12 sheet of pattern paper. This is by Kay and Company. Just load it into your paper. Make sure you only have one mat. Press load paper. And now you need to use your little booklet from Tags, Bags, Boxes, and more and decide what you're going to make. I'm having a party tonight for my two girls turning ages 9, I'm sorry, 11 and 9. And we have a bunch of little screaming girls here tonight, so I thought we would make them a purse. So I'm going to make that purse right here. So what I do is find the purse button that I need and it's right here and I want to get two purses on this one sheet of paper so what you're going to do is hit the purse two times and you're going to hit your fit to page button and that will make sure that two of those purses fit on here as big as it will cut it so calculating fit to page they're cutting at five and a half inches which also means if you have the original Cricut machine, you can cut one of these purses at five and a half inches on your machine. This is just showing you how to use the Cricut expression with this cartridge. I need to pull this out of the way. Okay, I need to make 20 of these tonight. I'm not going to make 20 right now, but I'll just show you how to make two really quickly. Okay, while that's cutting, what I've done on my second mat is get my paper ready for the Hello Kitty greetings that I'm going to be using. On that cartridge, I'm going to use the cute little butterfly if you look on the back. The cute little butterfly, just really keeping it simple. And girls that age just really love Hello Kitty. So this is just a wonderful cartridge to use. Okay. Let me find it. Here's the cute little butterfly. Okay, my purse is done. Hit unload paper, and I will just show you what it looks like. Just lift it off, it's right here. And this is two-sided paper, which I think is great when you're making a box or a bag. Now what you're going to do is turn off your machine. And we're switching cartridges here. You want to make sure that you always turn your machine off before pulling your cartridge out. Unless you're using the software and you just follow the instructions on your computer screen. But when you're using the Cricut by itself, you need to make sure you turn it off every time. Okay, I'm doing this butterfly here. Have all my paper on my mat. Press load paper. I want my butterfly to be I'm thinking about two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. I will cut my butterfly first on the black cardstock. And I have my blade set at six for cardstock. And usually pattern paper, I'll put it at four or five. Move your arrow, your blade over to the pink. Now the pink is going to be the wings on my butterfly. So I find where they are and I hit the close button close and then I, you can hit repeat last if you'd like since you didn't shift it up hit repeat last and it should cut the butterfly wings for you if you're unsure of what it's going to cut if you wait a few seconds it will show up in your little screen right here okay now I'm going to pull my blade over to the green paper and now I'm going to cut the inside. This is also the close button, but it's shift. So I'm going to hit shift, and you have to hit the butterfly, and that'll cut my inside. Now let's make this into a really cute project. What you're going to do first is you're going to score your little bag, and there's little notches that the Cricut made for you, and you just use a scoring bla blade. You want to make sure you don't press too hard with a scoring blade because it will cut your paper and that's happened to me a lot 
I've learned the hard way. So what I'm doing here is just scoring, just pressing lightly, scoring and trying to make this a really quick and easy treat. Just line it up. Now to put this box together, normally I would use my ATG gun, but I'm out of tape right now and they're on back order at framingsupplies.com just in case you didn't know the ATG gold is on back order um, so I'm waiting for that and so I'm going to just use the the red tape and the red tape is actually stronger than the ATG so the red tape is um, supposed to be used for boxes and three-dimensional items like that it gives it a nice secure hold so that's a bone folder and I'm just folding it over getting nice tight creases this is the red tape I was talking about and it's very sticky so watch out because once it gets on something it is permanent okay peel this off and then all you're going to do is line it up on the other side can you see that line it up press it down firmly and then I'm just going to use mono adhesive on the bottom part this is just to kind of keep it in place. You can use the ATG gun or the sticky tape if you want to make sure that it doesn't come apart ever. I'm not putting um, that heavy of items in there so it's okay. Okay here's my butterfly and the wings and then I'm using my spatula. If you do not have the Cricut spatula you are gonna want it. It is awesome. I love it. I use it all the time. It just really helps you get your image is off the mat without sometimes when you use your fingernail it will lift up part of the paper this just is a, a clean easy way to peel it off your mat and I'm using the Zig two-way glue pen to just glue my items down just really easy to do really simple I love this Hello Kitty greetings cartridge I actually have both of them and I love the font too the font is really fun and you can do really neat uh, fonts with it. I love the Hello Kitty uh, greetings that I'm using right here because I love how it has a black it, everything is not right together. It, it has like a black thick line if you look at it um, around everything and it makes it really easy to put together. It's a lot easier than the Disney uh, cartridges I've found but those are really fun too. You just have to kind of figure out how to put them together right. I need one more dimensional in the middle. These are dimensionals. It'll pop up my item. Mm -hmm. And then I'm almost done here. I'm just going to stick it on the box. And ta-da! I'm done. I only have 19 more of these to make.